I might have just discovered one of the best and most versatile compact PC cases ever featured on this channel, and it's from Sama, a brand many of you might not be familiar with or at least haven't linked with top tier premium products. Could it be that fate has handed me the PC case to outshine all others in 2024? Let's dive in and find out. Hey guys, CJ from Elevated Systems, and not too long ago during my Dark Rock MH200 review, I mentioned I was on the hunt for a worthy successor to my Asus AP201, something that could match its style and cooling prowess, but in a more compact package. The MH200 didn't quite hit the mark, but as luck would have it, while I was browsing through Newegg, I stumbled across what could be the next contender. Enter the Sama IM01 Pro, and let me just drop a little spoiler, this just might be the one. Sama has managed to meet or even exceed the AP201 in almost every aspect, with perhaps one exception, but before we dive into the treasure trove of features this case packs, let's kick things off with the standard spec rundown. The Sama IM01 Pro stands 391 millimeters deep, 205 millimeters wide, and 325 millimeters tall in its primary configuration. With the expansion box attached, it reaches a height of 362 millimeters. This case is ready for mini ITX and micro ATX motherboards and can house CPU tower coolers up to 166 millimeters. It supports graphics cards up to 355 millimeters with an SFX or an ATX power supply under 140 millimeters or 280 millimeters with an ATX PSU over 140 millimeters. Out of the box, it includes a single rear mounted 120 millimeter fan. However, it can fit two 140 millimeter fans on the top with various spacing options or up to three 120 millimeter fans. The case's lower section can also accommodate an additional two 140 millimeter fans or three 120 millimeter fans. Depending on your cooling setup, you can install up to four two and a half inch or two three and a half inch storage drives. For those opting for an SFX power supply, you can ditch the adjustable PCIe card holder and mount a 120 millimeter fan at the front. Interested in water cooling? Just remove the top fan bracket and attach the expansion box to fit up to a 280 millimeter radiator or AIO. Cable management is okay with multiple tie down points and up to 30 millimeters of space to work with. The front IO panel features an LED lit power button, a headset jack, two five gigabit type A ports, and a type C port with up to 20 gigabits of throughput. At the back, you'll find five replaceable PCIe expansion slots, making this case a compact yet versatile hub for your build. All the included hardware is packaged in a nice divided plastic container and a fabric carry bag for the case is included in the box. At the time of filming, the Sama IM01 Pro has a retail cost of just $65 US. Delving into the specs only brushes the surface of what this case offers. It's time to dive deeper and truly gauge the versatility of the Sama IM01 Pro. Let's start from the outside because one of the standout features of the case is its five exterior panels. The left, right, front, top, and bottom are all cloaked in powder coated steel mesh. These panels are fastened securely with steel ball stud fastener and boasted toolless design for easy removal. The one and a half millimeter square mesh mirroring the AP201's design gives the case a distinct pixelated aesthetic. The case's modularity was surprising and impressive. Beneath the outer panel lies a removable internal shroud. Both the top and bottom fan brackets are detachable. If you're looking to reposition the IO from the bottom right to the top left, it's as simple as unscrewing two screws and flipping the front panel. The removable PSU bracket accommodates an ATX power supply either at the front top of the case or Here's something I even overlooked while testing different configurations. You can invert the bracket to install the PSU upside down. If you prefer, remove the bracket entirely to fix an SFX PSU onto the separate side mount. Now, inverting components is one thing, but what about flipping the whole case? There's no need for a complex disassembly or reconfiguration of internal panels. Just switch the top and bottom mesh panels and flip the case over. Just like that, you have an inverted case layout. 
The outstanding build quality and the use of premium materials are what make the Sama IM-01 Pro's versatility a reality. The entire chassis is crafted from thick one millimeter SECC steel, which is far from typical at this price range. Equally uncommon is the choice to use solid steel ball studs, which are welded directly onto the outer panels. These studs are designed to endure, unlikely to snap off like the plastic variants commonly used in similar price cases. In the off chance you do manage to damage one of the plastic securing clips, Sama has you covered with replacements. Once the side panels are in place, the precision is evident. The tolerances are exceptionally tight, leaving no room for noticeable panel gaps or misaligned edges. And when you strip the case down to its skeleton, the internal chassis remains steadfast, rock solid with no hint of flex or wobble. The build quality isn't just about aesthetics, it ensures that your PC is housed in a case that's as sturdy as it is sleek. Of course, the modularity of the IM01 Pro makes building in this compact case a breeze. The ability to remove panels and brackets affords nearly 360 degree access to install components with ease. Even with a micro ATX board fitted, there's plenty of space and abundance of pass-throughs to connect everything seamlessly. Once the top bracket is back in place, standard 25 millimeter fans fit perfectly above the motherboard, steering clear of any RAM or VMR clearance issues. Installing a standard 240 millimeter AIO in the expansion box, I found it sat comfortably above the motherboard. Do note though that 140 millimeter fans installed at the bottom may come into contact with the bottom connectors, so installation should be done with care. That said, the removable fan bracket simplifies the process significantly. Keep in mind that newer, thicker 140 millimeter fans might not fit, unless of course you attach the expansion box to the bottom of the case. Also, with my over 140 millimeter ATX power supply installed, the maximum length for graphics card is reduced to 280 millimeters. For my test, I've opted for an SFX power supply to accommodate my standard test system with its longer graphics card. Today's build is air-cooled, so I won't be using the expansion box. However, I plan to build a permanent system in this case with a full ATX power supply and an AIO, so be sure to get subscribed to see that. With a trio of 140 millimeter fans in place and my test system assembled, details of which are in the description below, it's time to put this case through its paces. When comparing the test system's performance in the Sama IM01 Pro against an open air test bench, the data from an average of three Ada 64 stress tests were quite good. The CPU's temperature decreased by three degrees within the case, the motherboard experienced a five degree drop, while the GPU temperatures rose by only two degrees during a 20 minute port royal loop. These numbers are the most impressive I've seen in an MATX case, almost precisely mirroring the results from the much larger and traditional airflow optimized Inwin D5 I tested just last week. You might assume the GPU benefits from having two 140 millimeter fans blowing directly at it. My tests across several graphics cards suggest there isn't a significant difference in cooling efficiency between a stovepipe airflow setup like in this case or the AP201 and more traditional front to back airflow designs like the Inwin D5. Usually more compact cases suffer thermally due to their limited volume, which can become heat saturated quickly. However, the near complete mess coverage of the IM01 prevents heat from being trapped inside, but there's a trade-off, sound containment. The IM01 Pro is the loudest case I've tested, hitting over 55 decibels under heavy load. While I could adjust the fan curves in other cases like the Inwin D5 to reduce noise without impacting thermal performance, the same strategy doesn't really apply here. The primary source of noise are the CPU cooler and graphics cards, which the mesh does little to muffle. However, there's a tempered glass side panel version of the case available, which should help with sound while probably only slightly increasing the overall temps. Now, sound is definitely something to think about, but I reckon all the cool features in this case make it a top-notch value and maybe the MATX case to beat in 2024, 
But there are a few other things to mention. Since I compared this to the AP201, it's important to note that you can't fit a 360 millimeter AIO in the Sama case. There's also the issue of graphics card length when using an ATX power supply. So even though this case might be easier to build in than most compact cases, you still need to plan your build carefully and make sure your components will fit. There's also some smaller points. I'm not a fan of how the power cable extension just hangs out of the back of the case. I get why they did it. Putting it inside would take up space, probably eliminating an entire fan, but it looks a bit odd. Also, the way an SFX PSU fits in there means you have to route the cables inside the case to reach the motherboard connectors. I wasn't happy with the Almordor ITX case for the same reason a while back. However, since an SFX isn't the standard for an MATX case and is just an alternative, I'll cut Sama a little slack here. But this leads to cable management. If you use extension cables like I did, you'll need to put in more effort. There's almost 30 millimeters of space behind the motherboard tray, but it's mostly at the front. The back is pretty tight, so you'll need to manage most of your cables in the front part of the case. I spent more time than I actually needed to trying to keep all the cables out of the front chamber, but then I remembered the separate internal PSU shroud. Once I put that back in, I realized I could have tied up a lot of the excess power cables at the PSU terminals. Despite these minor issues, this is definitely the best case I've reviewed on the channel from a traditionally budget focused Chinese manufacturer. The build quality materials, modularity, versatility, and clever design make it a fantastic choice for anyone looking to build a compact system, no matter what your budget is. Okay, that wraps up our deep dive into the Sama IM01 Pro compact PC case. We've explored its compact yet versatile design, impressive build quality, and the ease of building within it. Despite a few minor quirks like the external power cable and some limitations with component sizes, this case stands out as a top contender for anyone looking to build a compact system without compromising on performance or aesthetics. It's been a blast sharing my thoughts on this case with you. I'm excited to see what Sama comes up with next. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more tech reveals. Until next time, happy building.